Welcome to Past People. Get ready for a roller coaster of a tale as we delve into the sad and intriguing life of King George I, the most hated monarch in British history. From family conflicts to dark secrets, George's reign was filled with drama, making him a controversial figure in the annals of British royalty. We'll explore King George I's tumultuous life, from his troubled childhood and strained family relationships, to a questionable marriage and the mysterious disappearance of a rival. George's story takes unexpected turns, so buckle up for a journey into the complexities of power, love and betrayal. King George I is remembered as the most disliked monarch in British history, and for good reason. George was sly, arrogant and had a cruel streak that even his own family couldn't escape. His reign was full of turmoil, from rebellions to family conflicts, painting a bleak picture of his time as king. Born into power, but not in England, George I was the first son of German nobles. He was originally meant to inherit lands in the Holy Roman Empire from his father, Ernest Augustus. However, things didn't go as planned, leading to a troubled reign in Britain. Originally named George Ludwig, the German nobleman changed his name to George Rex during his coronation in England over 50 years later. This change was a response to the widespread condemnation of his foreign birth, a desperate attempt to win the support of his new subjects. George I and his brother Frederick Augustus were inseparable as children. However, this close bond only made their future rift more heartbreaking, adding to the misery of George's story. George's mother, Sophia of Hanover, fell ill when he was young, leading her to spend a year in warmer climates for recovery. The absence of a proper parenting during this time left a lasting impact on George. He developed a sombre personality marked by introspection and sensitivity, which haunted his public image later in life. Despite showing promise as a leader, George's quiet nature and sense of responsibility as the eldest child created challenges. While praised by his mother for being dutiful and reliable, these traits had negative consequences as well, contributing to the overall misery of his life. Being the oldest child came with perks for George. His father, Ernest Augustus, gave him lots of attention and prepared him for a fancy life. They did things like hunting and riding together, and George learned all about living like an aristocrat. His siblings didn't get the same treatment, and his favouritism caused big problems. Besides the fun activities with his dad, George also had to face dangerous challenges. In the late 1600s, Europe was full of conflicts, and Ernest Augustus knew that his boys might have to fight. So during the Franco-Dutch War, he took the introverted 15-year-old George into battle. It's surprising George didn't end up more messed up from this experience. George was his father's favourite, and in 1683 his father declared that only George could inherit the relative's lands. This caused a massive family feud, especially with his brother, Frederick Augustus. The sibling rift grew over time, but George had bigger problems on the horizon. In 1682, George got engaged to Sophia Dorothea, his cousin. It wasn't a perfect match, though. George's mother worried about Sophia's lower social status, but George had a sneaky plan. George wasn't just in love with his cousin. He had a cunning reason to court her. Sophia's dowry promised more lands for George once they were married. He convinced his ambitious mother to approve the match, but soon everyone regretted it. After getting married, George and Sophia's relationship fell apart. Despite having two kids by 1687, they were completely estranged. George spent more time with his mistress than his wife, but it was a two-way street, and Sophia was no stranger to infidelity. Feeling neglected by George, Sophia had an affair with the Swedish Count Philip Christoph. This caused a major uproar. While George got away with his extramarital affairs, Sophia faced the royal family's disapproval, and things got even more interesting from here. George's wife had a strong connection with the Count, 
and the royal family worried that they might run away together, which would embarrass George. To avoid that, they pressured Sophia to break up with her lover. When she refused, things took a darker turn. In July 1694, George's problems with the Count conveniently vanished in a very violent way. The Count disappeared, and George was suspected to be behind it. Rumours suggested George's family paid people to harm the lover, either dumping his body in a river or burying him under the palace floorboards. George's true colours were showing, but he wasn't finished with his wife. Not content with the murder of Sophia's lover, George ended his marriage with her, claiming that she had abandoned him. Despite the irony, he went further. With her father's permission, George locked Sophia in the house, far from Hanover, showing his power over her. Sophia remained in royal prison for 30 years, with George denying her her basic rights. He forbade her from remarrying, going into town without supervision, and even kept her away from her own children. Once shy, George had become a harsh ruler, showing no signs of stopping. In a twist of fate, George became the heir to the English throne after locking up his ex-wife. Prince William, the current heir, died unexpectedly, causing a crisis. The Protestant English court overlooked many Catholic potential successors and George, the next male Protestant in line, inherited the throne. However, it came at a cost. George's mother, Sophia of Hanover, was next in line for the crown, healthier than the current Queen Anne of England. However, Anne didn't want to lose the throne to Sophia and sent a harsh letter. Devastated, Sophia fell ill and eventually passed away. George gained a higher position in the Game of Thrones, but lost his beloved mother. Was it worth it? Spoiler, no. Thank you for joining me in uncovering the gripping saga of King George I. As we peel back the layers of King George I's life, we'll explore the water music spectacle and the disastrous fallout with his son. Join me in part two as we uncover the shocking events surrounding the nightmare at the christening, cruel actions and the tabloid sensation that made the royal family a headline-worthy drama. This saga continues with government chaos, a wild boy discovery and the surprising circumstances of King George I's final moments. Don't miss the fascinating twists and turns in the riveting story of this monarch's life. If you found this historical dive fascinating, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe for more intriguing stories.